Alrighty, folks. It is your friend, Crypto Face, and I hope you're having a good day today. Forgive me, I am still a little congested and I guess a little bit sick from the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas uh, weekend. Today, uh, I'm going to show you guys an exchange that I learned about about eight months ago, maybe even a year ago. And, you know, trading on an exchange is is a big deal. And uh, I'm not like leaving big get by any means. But the main issue at hand is KYC and crypto leverage traders or people who want to even, even with spot um, some people believe in the anonymity of crypto or for whatever reason these exchanges keep going to <coughs> KYC for better or for worse but there is an exchange that is non KYC and after eight months or a year I'm finally willing to share it with you guys and that exchange is ZoomX you're gonna be seeing me use ZoomX and if I can compare it to any exchange, I would say it's like Bybit in the early days. It has the basically the same market makers as uh, some of everyone's favorite exchanges. They are picking up major heat in Japan not really not so much here in the US yet uh, but I believe that's going to change I, I believe this exchange is probably going to be uh, the fastest growing exchange um, especially in places where uh, where most exchanges are you know enforcing KYC um, you know maybe to kind of see what it looks like let's uh, let's go right here super simple super simple and basic there's not a million different uh, trade pairs of of oh well well hang on here okay never mind never mind uh, Wow okay All right. Wow. Uh, for real, I thought there was like five pairs, but I, I've never actually uh, looked at, I guess, inverse. Well, let's go to USDT. Damn. Well, they must have been adding, adding coins, so never mind. I uh, was going to say, you know, there's not a whole bunch of altcoins, but uh, there is. And you can, you know, look at the liquidity books yourself. Listen, do your own research, okay? Um. Do your own research. But I know so many people right now are looking for a non-KYC solution. And, you know, how long is it is it going to be like that? You know, listen, uh, I've uh, been speaking with these folks for eight months to a year. Um, I've referred a few, you know, close, close friends. Uh, I wore their sweatshirt actually on a around the blockchain episode a while back. Um, so you're going to be seeing me use these guys. And we are going to be doing a trade competition. 
Um, if you're a fellow influencer or whatever, I hate using that word. They call them KOLs. The Asians call them KOLs. Uh, I forget what it stands for, though. Uh, let them know Crypto Face sent you. And I promise you'll get a little bit of a sweeter deal than you would have if not mentioned me. And same goes for all of you. Um, so do whatever research you want. All I can say is kind of like uh, how we discovered Bybit and I saw something, I saw many things in them, the actions they took, the communication, how they acted and what, what they did and I knew that Bybit was going to turn into something special uh, man and, and did they ever and again this is no shot to any other exchange to BitGet or Femex or any other whatever but I know there's a bunch of exchange a KuCoin all these apparently Mexi there's rumors about them having uh, like liquidity problem whatever if you are looking for a solid foundational exchange with non-KYC, easy setup, easy trading, simple stuff. I don't know what everyone else is going to be using, what everyone else is using. But I'm using ZoomX. So links in the description. You're going to be seeing me use Sumex. Um, and I'm not leaving BitGet or anything. I'm, I'm going to use both. Uh, but I've had, I have had a couple little weird technical issues that have started popping up with BitGet. I, I will say that. There's a couple little weird things been going on with them. Problems with like Chrome. And if I leave my, my browser open for too long, like it gets, I don't know. And the customer support doesn't really help me. Um, but... Anyway, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, you know, as far as price, I, oh, shit, I just spilled my coffee. Okay, thank God I have a lid on this. All right. Uh, you know, I am uh, back in a long... I longed this little top at 30,600. I'm like six grand in the red right now on it. Just because if this darn thing broke out, I, I wouldn't want to miss it. Here, here's the proof. Well, I'm, uh, okay, I'm 2,400 in the red. Um, But if this thing comes down, you know, too much more, then I'll cut it and take the L. I made 105 on the last trade. And even though... You know, oh shoot, did I just, whoops, here we go. Boy, I hope it didn't look like that the whole stream. Let's move the window, I think, on exit. Uh, even though, uh, this doesn't really look too good. You know, the VWAP's coming down, money flow coming down. Momentum's kind of dragging. Um. Uh, It would just be kind of hard for me to, to short Bitcoin right now until I kind of just saw the price go down itself. It is still technically hanging over the spider line. So we're going to keep our eye on that. I am wishing and hoping and praying and looking at the low time frames. And you know, I got a little bit of a buffer. You know, I got a little cushion. It's a lot easier to take some risk. 
when you're when you're when you're you know when you just close some good profits. So take a little bit of risk. Cause I'll be damned if this thing rockets up to 38k and I didn't get in on it. So help me God. Boy, we sure could use this daily. I'm looking for this. Daily. Yellow VWAP to start curving up. And we are seeing some cross action. Tough action where it's not it's not full bear and ain't full bull. So hell, maybe it just kind of continues sideways a little bit. I know people are out there right now saying that uh that we are in a boy, I tell you, you know, not having this auto button right here is annoying. If you can't find the auto button, click this little pentagon wheel it's right here he's got to go through an extra step now although it keeps changing sometimes i have log right here sometimes i have auto and sometimes i have both sometimes just one i don't know what's going on with trading view but it'd be nice it'd be nice to let me choose what i would like on this bar let me have auto let me choose what i want on this bar anyways i guess people are drawing a triangle You know, whatever they're drawing. So, uh, you know, whatever floats everyone's boat. I'm right in here with you. You know, if I take a loss, uh, 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 so be it. At least I'm not dead drowned by the titanic like those like those five people god bless them god bless their souls those those man so anyways zoom x non kyc i know what their core beliefs are at least what they've portrayed to me and if i was a betting mate which I, I would say we probably have at least a year, maybe even two years of non-KYC. You know, th this exchange is low on the list. That's the good thing is, is uh, they, they've come in at the right time with non-KYC and they got the backing. They had the financial backing. Uh, and... There's, there's some things I wish I could say. There's some things I want to say, but I won't. But, but, the, but, but I'm not gonna say, say these things. But here's what I will say. I'm not saying you have to. In fact, I'm saying you shouldn't. But from what I know. I personally find them uh, to the extent of a crypto exchange trustworthy. But that is for me and my funds and myself, not you. You make up your own mind. So, uh, anyways. That's that. I look forward to the trading journey with them. And if you are in a pinch and you need non-KYC leverage for your Bitcoin ETH and apparently a whole lot of shit coins, you might want to... Oh, man, they got... And they got a de DEX, too. You got a decentralized exchange with... See, okay. I don't... I Listen. Uh, Bybit's doing the same thing too. They have like a a, a, de, a decentralized exchange, but you kind of have the safety net of a centralized exchange. I'm all for it. I'd rather have that 
than just a pure decentralized exchange where if you get hacked and screwed, you're screwed. And there's no one to take responsibility and save your ass. So that's cool if you guys like that. Um, anyways, good luck. God bless. Let's go, Bitcoin. She's hanging in there. Man, it would be great just to see this thing. Just to see Bitcoin crack through and get to 38,000. Even if it dumped hella hard after, it'd be pretty sweet just to see at least break that resistance. So, yeah. Alrighty, folks. Toodaloo.